In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this five steps curve timeline slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, this is our start line and then I have added the step one here. You can add the title and detail text. Then comes the step two with the different color combination three, four, five and then this is the finish line. I have created one more a slide uh, with some slight variation. You can see here I have put some bigger text here and the bigger boxes. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the grid lines. You can see there's a small grid lines and you can enable the guides also. Then I'm going to use the this particular shape. So go to insert lines and I'm going to use a free form shape. So starting from this side, you can see here or I can just start from here and then the this very line. I'm just going to click here then just leave two spaces here you can see here the second box make sure the line is straight doesn't matter even if it's not straight then we can make it straight also then i'm going to click again on the second one and below again the second you can see here something like this all right so again the second box here again the same here all right so a little bit the bend the line here and then double click this one so we end up getting a shape something like this and then select this right mouse click go to format shape and the line i'm going to increase the width you can see here i'm going to increase the width depending on the requirement how thick you need you can just increase it and shape outline you can give maybe a black color and let me just remove the the guides and the grid lines all right now again not depending on your requirement if you want to reduce the size you can see here you can just reduce it something like this all right so you can see and then you can just put it in the center again if you want to stretch you can stretch if you want to just uh, squeeze it you can squeeze it so it's up to you depending on your requirement so i'm just going to keep uh, with this then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and here i want to just change the background of the slide for that let me just give some a dark color here maybe some dark color okay and then for this i'm going to select go to format shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select white or any other uh, choice of color you can just choose it and here also i'm going to make it the height and width as same 1.37 all right so this is my first one press ctrl d one box i'm going to copy it here press ctrl d the third one will be here then the fourth one and the fifth one here all right so if you want you can increase or decrease the size also then i'm just going to add one more rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle all right and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice then using this arrow i'm just going to bend it something like this and then place it here and increase the size till this corner and then send this to back so it looks something like this all right or i can just say send back only not send to back something like this you can see here and if you want to send it to back also not a problem press ctrl d again i'm going to put it here press ctrl d i'm going to put one here ctrl d now this time i'm going to turn this other way around and i'm going to put it here all right and press ctrl d and i'm going to copy it here then i'm going to select this white rectangles or the squares and bring this to front all right now depending on your requirement you can choose the color whichever color you feel better you can just choose it 
so I can just choose some random colors of my choice and here maybe some other color I'm going to give maybe a uh, blue could be yeah right so this is the basic design and then if you want to move it up and down also you can just press ctrl a to select all and then you can just align it properly depending on the requirement so if you feel the size is bigger also you can just select and reduce also so depending on the requirement you can adjust it then i'm going to add the options here so this is my first option zero one center align i'm going to choose the font arial black increase the size maybe 32 and then i'm going to insert one more by pressing ctrl d this one reduce the size and i'm going to say first step make sure that it is properly aligned all right and then i'm going to group this one press ctrl d to group it and add it one by one here press ctrl d again this will come here and this will come here then again i'm going to select this one change the color as per the color which i have chosen in the background you can see here let me just change this to this color and then this will be the other color which is the orange this will be blue all right and this will be a purple color all right now this is first step this is the second step this is the third step fourth and fifth all right and then you can add some uh, title here before that one if you want to give some shadow effect also that also can be done for example here i'm going to add one more shadow effect with the black and i want to make it white you can see here format shape outline i'm going to make it white something like this you can see here and i'm going to put a little bit down and then right mouse click edit point i can increase the size here till the end and this also i can just increase it till the end and then send this to back all right so we have got this shadow effect and for this also i'm going to select this and shape fill make it black increase the transparency level completely you can see here and then i'm just going to place it here something like this and send this to back all right press ctrl d now and i'm going to add here ctrl d again ctrl d or let me just delete this i'm going to select this and i can use with the help of a format painter you can see here and i'm going to place it something like this and this also i'm going to place it something like this now i'm going to select all this the one which you have added just now and send this to back all right so we've got the shadow effect also and for this also you can add some shadow effect for the white square you can go to the effects shadows and i'm going to choose this one which is offset top left and for this i can choose offset bottom right here or bottom left all right and the color also remains same here let me just change the color to blue all right then go to insert text box you can just add the title again center align i'm going to choose the aerial black all right and then insert text box you can add detail text here center align i'm going to choose only aerial not aerial black reduce the size depending on the requirement and i'm going to adjust it properly select both this one and move it here and the font color i'm going to make it white press ctrl d to duplicate again you can see here ctrl d i'm going to add it here and then i'm going to add it here all right so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some text for example start and end so i'm just going to duplicate this one and i'm going to put it here home 
make it black increase the size and this will be start all right and press ctrl d bring the other side and this will finish so you can see here the start and finish so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some a basic animation you can add the animation effect